morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity formulations, the longevity business, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head to my website, brightsideben.com. Also, criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business. If you're entrepreneurially minded, if you're business minded, if you want to start a business but you don't want to deal with all the infrastructure and the inventory and all the costs that are involved in starting a business for a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business. You can enjoy all the tax benefits associated with being in business. You can write off mileage. You can write off your postage stamps and your home office. You can also help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and earn yourself a nice little income while you're doing it. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it. You have to be business-minded, though. This is not for folks who are not entrepreneurially minded, not for folks who don't understand the the beauty, really, the, the wonderful nature of being an entrepreneur, making your own hours, not having a boss, being your own boss and earning as much, as little or as much money as you like. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it. Also want to remind you to check out my uh, brightsidehealth.com. Got uh, Bergamax up at brightsidehealth.com for blood glucose levels and maintaining healthy cholesterol and uh, for heart health and liver health. Bergamax is a uh, bergamot extract product. You can find out all about it at brightsidehealth.com. Also have our bone broth protein and our cannabinoid CBD, a CBD tincture up at brightsidehealth.com. Okay. Welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in our at the bottom of the hour. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. We're talking connective tissue, the connective tissue made up of protein fibers and jelly goo within which are embedded cells that make everything, the so-called blast cells, fibroblasts. This connective tissue, as we've been talking about uh, for the last few months, is the hidden key to understanding the health of the body or the lack of health in the body. Pretty much all disease states, and certainly the biggies, heart disease, disease, cancer, autoimmune disease, neurological issues, as well as structural, structural issues and chronic pain, all are sourced in defects in the connective tissue. You don't hear about this from your cardiologist. If you have a, a, a atherosclerosis, which is a leading cause of heart disease, nobody's going to tell you about the connective tissue, the relationship of healthy or not healthy connective tissue to your heart disease. Same thing with Alzheimer's disease, same thing with your autoimmune disease, and same thing with your cancer. Yes, cancer is preceded. The appearance of cancer is preceded by broken down, defective, clogged up connective tissue. 
Lack of energy in the body also involves connective tissue. This is why exercise is such an important strategy for dealing with chronic fatigue or dealing with morning fatigue or dealing with afternoon fatigue. Put a rebounder next to your desk in the afternoon. Jump on the rebounder for two or three minutes. You'll get a surge of energy as your connective tissue becomes electrified. Likewise in the morning, jumping up and down on a rebounder is like a cup of coffee. It doesn't give you the same jittery energy as coffee, but it gives you a nice easy energy as it improves the electrification of the connective tissue and thus the electrification of the cells. All disease is cell disease. This is the hallmark number one principle of the bright side philosophy. All disease is cell disease. We don't have lung cancer. We got lung cell cancer. We don't have arthritis. We've got cartilage cell disease. We don't have uh, leaky gut syndrome. We have intestinal cell problems. It all comes down to the cells. And nobody tells us this. The doctor's not going to tell us this because he can't do anything at the level of the cell. The medical model is impotent at the level of the cell. So they don't tell you about the cell. All disease is cell disease. And because it is the connective tissue that feeds and nourishes and detoxifies and electrifies the cells, all cell disease, that is to say all disease, is preceded by messed up connective tissue. The health of the connective tissue, like everything else in the body, is dependent upon the blood. And the major cause of connective tissue defects is sludgy, clogged, nutrition, uh, and oxygen depleted blood. And the blood becomes clogged and sludgy and depleted via what is ingested, what we eat. Unless you're injecting something IV, and we're not going to talk about that, because if you're an IV drug user, well, you got other problems. For, for, but for the, mo uh, the vast majority, for most of us, the blood becomes clogged and sludgy and dirty by what we eat. So the order of development of a less than fully healthy body is, number one, ingestion of the wrong foods, including calorie-rich, sugar-rich, nutritionally deficient processed foods, as well as foods that initiate an immune or toxic or defensive response. Number one, ingestion of the wrong foods. The blood and the lymph, I should probably say blood and lymph together, but I'm just using the term blood, but understand that when I say blood, I'm also referring to the lymph. The blood and the lymph are the entry point of the components of food, for better or worse. So when the wrong stuff enters into the blood from what we eat, an inflammatory response, a protective response in the blood ensues. The body will then attempt to clear these inflammatory substances from the blood by dumping them into the connective tissue, which functions as a, a, a storage depot, a handy little storage spot for food toxins. It's like when I was a kid and then my mom used to tell me to clean up the room, clean up my room, I would uh, invariably stuff up everything under the bed so the room looked clean. Well, the body does the same thing. It stuffs the junk in the connective tissue. The connective tissue is a handy storage spot for all of the toxins. Now, if it happens once in a while, that's not a big deal. In fact, that's very functional. So the connective tissue can handle very small amounts of toxicity. But over the course of time, as we ingest the wrong foods, sugar-rich foods, foods that initiate an immune response, we run into problems because the connective tissue becomes clogged. Then the connective tissue is less able to sustain and nourish and oxygenate and detoxify the cells. So we got wrong foods, including sugar, but by the way, sugar has its own connective tissue destroying properties. Sugar burns the connective tissue. But aside from that, you get the wrong foods, including sugar. You got dirty blood. You got messed up connective tissue. And then you have cell disease. And this is a precursor to everything that goes wrong in the body in the way of chronic degenerative disease. Everything. In terms of troubleshooting and reversing the disease process, this means all we have to do is clean the blood by focusing on foods and nutrition, and none of this requires medical intervention. None of this requires pharmaceutical intervention. None of this requires a doctor. This is all lifestyle. This is all the choices we make, for better or for worse. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks.
Thanks for listening, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products off of brightsideben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you want to purchase any Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, all our Truth Skin Health products are designed to drive the production of connective tissue. That is their raison d'etre. That's the reason for they, or their existence. That's why I developed my truth, all my Truth Skin Health products. Driving the production of connective tissue means anti-aging. It means skin healing. It means beautiful, healthy skin because the effects of, uh, the effects of aging really are connective tissue breakdown effects. That's, what's, that's what wrinkles are about. That's what thinning skin is about. That's what crow's feet and fine lines are about. Driving the production of connective tissue is not only important for the beauty of the skin, it's also important for the health of the skin. Connective tissue strength goes hand in hand with skin health as well as skin beauty. And that's why retinol is so important. That's why vitamin C is so important. That's why retinol and vitamin C are really the only two active ingredients anybody needs for their skin. And I'm not just talking about the skin on their face. On your face, I'm talking about skin everywhere. Skin is skin. You don't need a hand cream. You don't need a decollete cream or a foot cream or an eye cream. Skin is skin, folks. And, and the health of any skin in the body is dependent on its connective tissue, thus the importance of vitamin C and retinol. You can find our retinol 5% gel as well as Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream if you're dealing with aging skin or you don't want to be dealing with aging skin, acne-prone skin. Or if you want to reverse fine lines and wrinkles, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, and check out our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so it's all about the connective tissue. Whether we're talking the skin, whether we're talking beauty, whether we're talking health, whether we're talking vigor, whether we're talking reversing of disease, if you hear the word fibrosis, if you hear the word sclerosis, if you hear the word stenosis, you're dealing with the body's attempt to repair degenerating connective tissue. And I would venture to say there is no chronic degenerative disease. There is no chronic degenerative disease that does not have an element of fibrosis, sclerosis, stenosis, amyloidosis, or broken down connective tissue. This is the unifying feature of all chronic degenerative diseases. And it's the major reason why we're not as healthy as we need to be, we're not as healthy as we should be, and why your doctor can't do anything about it. None of, uh, there's no aspect of connective tissue degradation or fibrosis or stenosis or sclerosis that lends itself to treatment by the doctor. Cholesterol in the heart is a sign that the body is attempting to repair connective tissue. Atherosclerosis is a sclerotic, fibrotic condition of the tissues, tissues of the heart that are following connective tissue degradation, connective tissue breakdown, and the idiocy, the absolute idiocy of using a statin drug to address this issue is beyond belief once you understand what the heck is going on. The idea of using drugs to, connect, to correct any issues of connective tissue breakdown is equally stupid and evil. I don't know which is more. I say it's equally dumb and evil. It's stupid because it represents a failure to understand how the body works by the people who are supposed to know just that. That's what doctors go to medical school for. It represents a failure in how uh, understanding how the disease process begins and how it progresses. And it's evil because it takes advantage of innocent and gullible human beings at their most vulnerable in order to profit while pretending to somehow be in the patient's interest. Drugs are not in a patient's interest with some exceptions. Now, if you're symptomatic and you're miserable and you're in terrible pain and you need a pain pill or you need some kind of anti-inflammatory, that's one thing. But to be on a drug the rest of your life because some boneheaded medical professional can't figure out how the body works is not fair. Once we take into account the underlying unifying nature of the connective tissue and the idea that all disease is cell disease, which is preceded by connective tissue breakdown, this only becomes a matter of logic. We get so bamboozled by the seemingly confusing and disparate nature of all, our, of, all of our symptoms 
that we miss the underlying unifying factor that links everything together, i.e. the connective tissue. Once we understand this, it becomes logical. Clean the blood. Work on the digestive system. Change the way you eat. Throw in good nutrition and the mighty 90 essential nutrients. Make sure you're oxygenating and make sure you're moving the body and getting lots of R&R. &R. That's it, folks. That's everything. That's health right there. Clean the blood by working on your digestive system, digestive system and making better food choices. Make sure you're using your Mighty 90 essential nutrients on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Make sure you're oxygenating and moving your body and getting lots and lots of R&R, &R, rest and relaxation. And every single chronic degenerative disease will begin to improve and symptoms will begin to subside. There is no doctor strategy that can do this. There's no medicine that can do this. There's no surgical procedure that can do this. The connective tissue is the underlying basis of the human body and there is no such thing as a chronic degenerative disease that does not have a connective tissue pathology, connective tissue breakdown at its basis. And the connective tissue responds to, to how we live, how we live our lives. That's pretty much it. The connective tissue responds to the choices we make in our lives. The connective tissue responds to our lifestyle. And once we understand this, once we understand the construction of the body, this raisin bread nature, as I've always talked about, this is what the raisin bread is about. I call it cells and goo. The cells are embedded in the connective tissue the way raisins are embedded in the bread. And this will all make sense once we nail this down. The aging process will make sense. The health of the skin will make sense. The beauty and the appearance of the skin will make sense. The uh, health of the brain, the health of the organs, the health of the muscles, the health of the bones will all make sense. So the connective tissue is made up of three major components. Strong, resilient, elastic proteins, primarily collagen. Also something called elastin, which is an elastic protein. Another protein which is called reticulin. But for the most part, it's made up of collagen. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about collagen here in the next few days. Collagen is an amazing, maybe the single most amazing biological substance on the planet for a lot of reasons. It's also made up of the cells that make the collagen and it's made up of the goo. And I love the goo. I'm absolutely fascinated by this goo. The goo is called the extracellular matrix or the ground substance. Technically, the ground substance also has collagen in it and fibers, but the goo which is made up of polysaccharides and, and, uh, and proteoglycans, polysaccharides being a fancy word for sugar, proteoglycans, sugar, protein complexes. I'm going to refer to the goo or refer to the extracellular matrix as the goo, even though technically the extracellular matrix or the ECM also has the collagen in it. But I'm going to, when I talk about the ECM, I'm going to just be referring to the gooey, slimy sugar proteins that make it up, the polysaccharides and proteoglycans, substances like hyaluronic acid, which is an absolutely fabulous supplement. Because hyaluronic acid is a major component of the goo, you can use hyaluronic acid supplements for dealing with all kinds of health challenges, including heart disease, including cancer, including Alzheimer's disease. You wouldn't think that. If you don't understand the unifying nature of the connective tissue, it's not going to make sense how you can use these building blocks of the connective tissue or, or of the goo of the ECM for dealing with these seemingly diverse health challenges. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back with your phone calls on the bright side right after this. Side. I am a pharmacist, Ben. 844 236 6010 is our number. 844 236 6010. We'll continue talking about fibrosis and stenosis and sclerosis and beauty and skin health and aging and chronic degenerative disease and the connective tissue. Actually, we're going to talk a lot about the extracellular matrix, the proteoglycans and the uh, proteoglycans, by the way, it just means protein and sugar, protein sugar complexes. I don't like using these big words, but it's, they're very descriptive and they're very easy when, when you understand what they mean. Proteoglycans just means protein sugar complexes. Polysaccharides just means long chains of sugar. Polysaccharides and proteoglycans are the, form the bulk of the connective tissue along with the fibers. What this means is using fucoidin, which is a polysaccharide, using your fucoid Z, using high uronic acid supplements, using your glucosamine and glucogel caps and bone broth protein, which you could find at brightsidehealth.com, by the way, uh, bone broth and bone broth protein. 
cartilage containing products have multiple benefits for the body, have multiple benefits for dealing with chronic degenerative diseases, are important for addressing all kinds of health issues, not to mention the beauty and the appearance of the body, particular, particularly the beauty and the appearance of the skin. Using high hyaluronic acid supplements can be one of the best ways to prevent wrinkles and at the same time protect yourself from heart disease and neurological health, health challenges as well as inflammatory diseases like arthritis and autoimmune diseases. You're not going to get, by the way, hyaluronic acid benefits by putting it on the skin. This is a myth that seems to be endemic in the world of skincare. Using high hyaluronic acid topically in a skincare product may soften the surface of the skin. It may give you a little bit of topical, very surface moisturization because hyaluronic acid attracts water, but it's gonna have much benefits for skin health. You've gotta get the hyaluronic acid inside the skin and you can't inject it either, even though there are products where they will actually inject hyaluronic acid, a product called Juvederm, some of you may have heard of, is hyaluronic acid injected into the skin. That's not gonna improve skin health either. The trick to leveraging the power of hyaluronic acid for the skin is to make sure the hyaluronic acid is in the blood, either by using supplements of hyaluronic acid or by driving the production of hyaluronic acid from the fibroblasts. How do you do that, you ask? Vitamin C and retinol. That's the way you drive the production of hyaluronic acid. That's the way you drive the production of collagen. That's the way you drive the production of everything in the extracellular matrix, the goo, the ECM, and that, thus the importance of topical vitamin C in its fat-soluble form, thus the importance of retinol in a high enough concentration to make a difference. Thus, the importance of my Truth Skin Health products. TruthTreatments.com, TruthTreatments.com, if you're interested in learning more. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. I just, uh, just want to read one story here. This is from the journal Endocrinology, Metabolism, uh, Clinical North, in Clin uh, Endoc Endocrinology, Met Metabolism Clinics in North America. Uh, connective tissue and joint disease in diabetes. Connective tissue is ubiquitous and subject to alterations that result in changes in the extracellular matrix of vessels and tissues. Get this now. Leading to the long-term complications of diabetes. Yes, even diabetes itself, at least the complications of diabetes, are associated with connective tissue breakdowns. This is an article that discusses the abnormalities involving the skeleton, the joints, the skin, and the blood vessels associated with diabetes. Why does this happen? Because diabetes is a disease where the body does not handle sugar, and sugar destroys connective tissue. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Dan in Texas. Good morning, Dan. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. What's up? Uh, you say, very often you say that you you just keep repeating the same thing, and I'm, I'm begging you, please do keep repeating the same thing. Thank you. Because uh, I always feel... I appreciate you saying that because I always feel silly repeating the same thing over and over again. But I think repetition is reinforcement, and that's why I do it. So uh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Absolutely. For me, so I called in once before. I'm 40. I've been kind of paleo slash ketogenic for about 10 years. Just one quick story about fasting and a question about the keto product. Okay. Um, since January, you know, my, my holidays got a little bit boozy, I'm going to admit it. Um, Okay. And uh, since January, I've lost 10 pounds. I did four of the pounds I did with fasting, just really easy, basic, no, nothing crazy, right? Your usual fasting. You, you hang on, about. Dan. Dan, you lost the 10 pounds since New Year's, did I hear you say? That's right, yeah. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Since January 1st, I've got the data on it. It looks really, I like, it's good, and I encourage anybody trying to lose or with any goal, make a little chart. It's good to see a chart. Something about that's inspiring. To actually see the data I agree. yourself. Um, yeah, to track, so track, your pro fasting. track your pro progress, you're saying. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I want to give credit here to the keto product. They were kind of surprising to me. Uh, this, I lost four pounds in two weeks. And then in the last kind of week and a half, I lost another six pounds using Rev and the keto powder and uh, maybe a couple of the little bars. I haven't really gotten into those yet. But it's, it's just it, they made it really, really easy. Nice. Um, one question for you, the Rev dropper. If I'm doing a fast, would you recommend to still use the dropper or not bother? Or what, 
What's mm, the most of the benefits are going to come from the fast, so it doesn't really matter. But if you just want to boost it, it up, you then use the Rev to boost it up. That's a that's the Slender FX product for for the listeners. You're doing Longevity. Are you selling the products, or are you just that's, using them? I'm just using them. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, Slender FX Rev uh, can be used with a fast, although it's th- the the heavy lifting will be done from the fast, but the the Rev will help. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I use caffeine during the fast sometimes just for a little bit of appetite suppression. Do you get jittery at all? A little, Do you get jittery? Oil. No, I put the, I put a coconut oil in there. It seems to kind of curb off the edge a little bit. If what I kind of caffeine? What kind of caffeine? I literally are you? just I have a little espresso machine. That's it. Okay, nice. All right. Oh, you use the Americanos. Uh, you use, you're doing the coconut oil uh, espresso blend? Yeah, yeah. Not nice. quite bulletproof, but I like this better. It's, it's got Good the deal. Calor- a little bit of calories in there. It takes off the hunger. Uh, and one other thing I wanted to tell you, uh, I'll make this quick. You brought up Bruce Lipton before and kind of how we're programmed love with your patterns. I saw, I, yeah, I'm a fan of him now. Thanks for introducing him. I saw something very interesting. Uh, some of these patterns used um, for good. I suspect a lot of your listeners are generally educated, but uh, like me, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I can sometimes lack motivation. There's a website out there for <clears throat> compliance. So you comply with your own gold called Stick. S T I C K K. It's free. And here's the deal. What I love about it, it, it kind of, it kind of plays with the primate fear of loss. Um, you, you set up a goal, you get a coach, whether it's somebody, a third party in your life to watch you. Kind okay. of monitor you, okay. and you choose what's called an anti-charity. Huh. So it's a it, it's a charity organization that you really don't want your ten bucks to go to. Okay. And you'd be surprised at how effective those ten bucks will be in your fight for them. Oh, that is great. <laughs> so anybody's, anybody's having compliance issues with their own goals or anything like that, I strongly recommend using That's this. That's awesome. It's, it's the best ten bucks you'll ever. Use. So it's called Stick dot com. Yeah, S T I C K K double K on the end of that. S T I C K. I'm going to look yeah, that up during our break. Having trouble? Oh, it's it's really fun. It's really oh. fun. You can look up the anti charities that they have. They've got oh, one for awesome. everybody. I'll put it that way. Give me an example of an anti charity. Oh, so there's NRA. Oh, right? the NRA. Okay. And then, and then and then there's the opposite of the NRA, right? So you get pro life, pro choice, all that stuff. Then. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you for sharing that, Dan. All right, man. I got to go. Thank you, Dan. Good luck. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will get to all your phone calls when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Minneapolis and welcome Gary to The Bright Side. Good morning, Gary. Hello. Uh, Honored to talk to you. Oh, you did? You already talked to me? No, I said it's an honor to talk to you. Oh, okay. Talked to you before, yes. Uh, I, I'm the guy with the high eye pressure. Um, I'm taking Lumigan. Oh, from yesterday. And uh, it's working, bringing down the eye pressure. I have no effect from it, and my eyes are still 20-20 vision. Nice. And I have very healthy optic nerves. And, uh, and, but I want to get off Loom again, and I also want to know what you think that might be doing to me. Okay. If it's, if it's doing anything to me, I'm 70 years old in May. I've never taken a prescription drug. Okay, well, that's or a the Lumi- pill the Lumi- or a surgery in my life, and I don't like dropping that drop in me, even okay. though it doesn't be hurting me. It bothers me. Yeah, the, the eye drops are not as bad as a systemic kind of pill, a, a pharmaceutical that you take and has to go into your blood and get processed by the liver. It's, it's it's only working topically. But the bigger concern is why do you have the problem in the first place? And that's what I'd be focusing on. Glaucoma. Can I give you a you- one uh, uh, sixty second history? Well, I don't need it because, but, well, yeah, go ahead. Give me a quick history. But you don't uh, I mean, need it. I don't want to bore you on it. I'm an it's not. It's health. not that it's boring. It's not that it's boring. It's that we don't need it because glaucoma is caused by a defect in the valve. You have a safety valve that lets fluid out of the eye. When that safety oh, valve only breaks. Only a bad number. I- go ahead. Gary? Did we lose Gary? I think we lost Gary. 
Okay, we lost Gary. Uh, but I hope if you're listening, Gary, for anybody out there listening, glaucoma is a, caused by a defect in the valve that lets the fluid out of the eye. The defect in the valve is due to the same problem that causes every other health issue. Remember, all disease is cell disease. The valve, the, the safety valve, is made up of cells like everything else in the body is made up of cells. And when those cells break down, the valve in turn will break down. It won't let the fluid out. The number one reason... The major cause of that breakdown is sugar. You, it can also be exacerbated by inflammatory factors that come into the blood through the digestive system. So we go back to our, our major, our, our triangle of disease, the digestive system and the blood sugar system, and then also the adrenal thyroid complex. So for dealing with, and Gary said that he didn't have any, uh, he sounded pretty good and he didn't have any other health issues, but that's a sign that the body's beginning to break down. So if you're listening, Gary, treat yourself like a diabetic, use the sweeties and the B complex, reduce your intake of fast burning sugars, use more protein and more fat, go ketogenic, use the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients in the Healthy Start Pack as well. Treat it as a sign that your body is beginning to break down. No knock. I'm not insulting you. I don't mean to insult you. But at the age of 70, that's typically what's going to happen. And if it's happening in the eyes, rest assured, it's happening in other places of your body. Glaucoma equals diabetes, or at least prediabetes, or dysglycemia. I, like, I don't even like the word diabetes. We'll say dysglycemia, which means messed up blood sugar. And I'm sorry we lost you there, Gary. Hope, you're, hope you were listening. And that's also good information for anybody out there who's dealing with glaucoma. All right, Truth Raider, what's going on, Carl? Where's the beef? What's up, buddy? Where's the beef? Well, Claro, that's not yeah. the, the proper question. The question is, what is in the beef? All right. I like to bring a little color to the bright side, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there and, and pharmacist Ben. What do you think that's in the beef supply in these restaurants? It's been rumored that they're putting horse meat, perhaps rat meat, perhaps well, fillers, soy, wheat, artificial flavors. Because this is what I did. I went out and I did an experiment. And I bought a burger comparable to each of the, each of the fast food restaurants. And I found that Wendy's actually smelled like a hamburger. It was actually pretty good. But McDonald's, Burger King, Carl's Jr., it has this strange, when you, when you, first, when you pick it up after they make it hot and ready for you, yeah. it has this kind of a sour smell or a little bit of a wheat Chemical germ smell? or soy or some type of a smell to it. Yeah. It doesn't smell natural. Have you so ever is seen, there any truth to that? Have you ever seen the YouTubes of McDonald's hamburgers that people kept for years, and they're yes. still, they well, still look the same? They try to years? debunk that. They try to debunk that, Ben, no, by, by saying it's just because the, the meat is dried out and it doesn't, have, it doesn't retain moisture is why it stays naturally preserved like beef jerky does. Yeah, well, naturally preserved meat is not going to be it's, – it's going to preserve you. You don't want your body preserved. If a food has a long shelf life, it's going to give you a short shelf life. That's what I like to say. Thanks, Carl. I appreciate the call, man. All right, Max in Austin. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hello. How are you? Hey, Max. What's going on, man? Uh, I'm calling regarding for my wife, and uh, she had an MRI, and the result came back to shows a hippocampal sclerosis. Uh, Hippocampal sclerosis, did you say? Yeah. Okay, so if you've been listening to the program, don't worry about the hippocampus. The hippocampus, for the listeners, is a part of the brain that's involved in memory and, and learning. But the, the operative word, the important word, is the sclerosis. Sclerosis and fibrosis and stenosis are all a sign of repair, of connective tissue repair. The body's attempting to repair a broken down connective tissue. This is behind Alzheimer's disease, behind Parkinson's disease, behind the, the general brain deterioration that, that uh, is associated with the aging process. Basically, Basically, her brain is breaking down. So what do you want to do? Well, the same thing we talk about here all the time. Number one, reduce the influx of toxins that are coming into the body through the blood. That means go back to your foods. Look for food allergens and food toxins. Eliminate those. Do a fast and elimination diet. Support digestive health using your probiotics, your nightly essence, as well as your Fucoid Z and digestive enzymes with meals, apple cider vinegar with meals. Make sure she's doing bone broth protein. She might want to do some high hyaluronic acid supplements. Secondly, keep her blood 
sugar stable. Treat herself like she's a diabetic, even if she has not been diagnosed as such. Remember, sugar has a degrading effect on the connective tissue all over the body, including in the brain. And so using uh, uh, the uh, Sweeties and the Ultimate Niacin, as well as the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and going on a low sugar diet, and then make sure you're calming the body down using deep breathing techniques in addition to moving the blood, moving the lymph, moving the circulation so that the blood can deliver more nutrients and more oxygen and do its detoxifying work more effectively. It's basically arthritis of the brain, Max. It's stenosis or fibrosis or sclerosis of the brain is the same thing as, the, as what occurs in the joints when you have arthritis. She's got arthritis of the brain. Treat her like she's an arthritic. It doesn't matter that it's in the brain, not the joints. She's got arthritis of the brain. Thanks for your call, Max. Appreciate it. I want to get to a few more. We've got a full board here, and uh, that's just the way it goes on the bright side. Elaine from Alaska. Good morning, Elaine. Hey, good morning. How was your trip to Austin? It was wonderful, and I'm going to be back in Austin in a couple weeks, actually, in two weeks. I love, love, love Austin, next to Boulder and Santa Cruz. Those are my three favorite cities in the world, Boulder, Austin, and Santa Cruz. We've got to get you up here to Alaska. You know, I was there. I think I told. Did I tell you that I was there last summer? I took my mom to Anchorage. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I I did enjoy it, and I, I plan on going back. Where you're in Anchorage, aren't you? Just outside. Mm-hmm. Just outside Anchorage. Oh, yeah. What's going on today? Yeah, you know, I have a patient um, that she she's really on the verge um, of a breakthrough with her health. Uh, it's, it's a pretty long, complicated health history. I won't go into, but she's taking about ten prescription medications, and then she had a major stressor with the loss of her daughter Mm. a little over a year ago but she's really really trying to work with her doctors to get off some of these medications what's her main problem um well right now the current diagnosis is pots p-o-t-s okay i know what that is that's an adrenal condition postural tachycardia Orthostat, po- postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, P-O-T-S. And when it, whenever you hear the word syndrome, that means there's a bunch of things going on and they don't really know what's causing it. So uh, syndromes are always a sign that there's a whole bunch of things happening. Postural tachycardia is a very common adrenal issue. It's like when you, when you bend down and you stand up and you feel dizzy. Now, tachycardia means it's causing the heart to race, but it doesn't, have to, it doesn't even have to affect the heart. If you drink a lot of coffee and then you go to the gym, you'll find that you're a little dizzy when you're doing your your uh, squats or your deadlifts, or if you're drinking a lot of coffee, or if you just have adrenal, adrenal fatigue issues, you'll find that when you get out of bed or you get out, or you stand up from a sitting position, you get a little dizzy or woozy. That's all the same thing, and it involves the adrenal glands. The adrenals are the third point on our triangle of disease, so you work backwards. Blood sugar and digestion. And these are the two major causes of adrenal issues, blood sugar problems and digestive problems. In fact, I'm pretty sure they're the the only two causes, although you you can factor in nutritional deficiencies in there and some kind of stressor like caffeine. I guess those those can also be involved. But for the most part, you're dealing with a blood sugar problem and you're dealing with a digestive problem. Now, the fact that she's had some trauma, some emotional trauma in her life, that's going to compound things. Uh, Elaine, slow, deep breathing will change her life. Slow, deep breathing. In addition, hot baths, hot showers, massage, Reiki. Work on relaxing the connective tissue. I know you're a connective tissue therapist, so doing things like Reiki and rolfing and massage, anything you can do to relax the connective tissue will have a wonderful beneficial effect. There's so much more you could do. Think about adrenal stress and think about relaxing the body. Vitamin C is great for the adrenal glands. Zinc is also a very important mineral for the adrenal glands. So is iodine. And then also using all of your diabetic support in addition to digestive support as well. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends, to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.